Festivities haven't started yet. There's still time to search for Kuna. Where are you, Kuna? He isn't here. But someone else may have seen him. Bridget is here. Oh, I shall polish my ears in hopes that a word of clarity will slip through them. Eivor! Finally, Tiri de Khwaled. Bridget, uh, it is good to see you. Eivor, what has become of Tevder? Did you faint your scarf? Uh, thank you. Bridget, I found an abandoned bird nest in the rafters. I'm going to take it home to Mother. If you cattle it, then the Babans will do it all a layer got. It's you again, the Sowan Butcher. The Sowan Butcher. Never mind, Gwyneth. <clears throat> I'm looking for Kunan. Have you seen him? He's busy with the festival and shooed me away to Bridget. Would you like to see some magic I've been practicing? Can you show me to Kunan if I say yes? Just one trick and then I can show you around. Um, okay. So reach into this pouch. And the number of stones you're holding is three. Wonderful magic, Gwen. But now I really need to find Kunan. Church ladies, they don't like the festival, but Mama says they come anyway to cluck cluck like hens. Do you want to see another trick? I can pull an acorn from your ear. I need to find Kunan. It is important. You're lost, Butcher. It's Eivor. Fancy a game of all, right? Why is that woman wearing a striped mask? That's a badger. All the festival ladies in charge wear one. Have you seen Elderman Kunan? Oh, that unholy visage startled me. It's past sundown, so Kunan has retired to the church for prayer. I have business with him. Even if you have business with him, it will have to wait until the morning. Locked himself in, only Geva has the key. Would Geva let me in? She's been instructed not to. Not that I can see her following a task so simple. Girl'd forget her own head if it weren't attached. Thank you for your help. I will speak with Kunan tomorrow. The key is held by someone named Geva. I must find her. I am looking for Glowerchester's elderman. <laughs> well, the one who still draws breath is in the church. How do I get in? You're not supposed to get in. No reason to enter that dump anyway. Fuck, you'd have to get me very drunk to show you inside. Sounds like some ale will loosen his tongue. Have you seen Kunan? Hey, it's the Mary Ruid. Rhyme with me, Mary Ruid. On sowing night, all out to fly, some to... Uh, oh, oh, you've oh, I've messed up the rhyme. The man tries to rhyme with all his might. <laughs> Didn't take much to outwit me. <laughs> You're really good. Good enough for a reward. Many thanks. Enjoy the festival. Have you seen Kunan? <laughs> He's gonna be in the wicker man.
Where's Coonan? Mary Lou, come dance with me. Have you seen Coonan? <laughs> the man lives! Oh, goodness, you're so frightening. What are you doing after the festival? I am looking for Coonan. Right, right, yes, he's in the church. Actually, if you're headed that way, this crate needs to be delivered to him. Just tell Geva I sent you. Of course. What does Geva look like? Badger mask, same as me. Should come running when she sees you. Best of luck, and happy sowing! Geva is waiting for this delivery to the church. That's my way in. Good you came by. Sarah was supposed to drop it off ages ago. Snake tongue. Eivor! Ha. Have you have you been enjoying the festivities? We are done with this shadow play. Teftir is safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly, but I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian Zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader, and an angry church ready with holy fire? They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? Ha! <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Modron was the architect of Tevdur's murder, Eivor. All to take control of Glowerchestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything? You and Mothran. Then Gwynedd. A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. Then make your peace with God, Britain. For shitting on my name and drugging me is an offense I kill for. I'm to be dead within the Wicker Man by Samhain's end. I beg you, let me die for my people. You and the witch, this was your plan. To make me dance your merry tune. So you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Modron. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenev, but a united Glowerchestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you failed, Kunan. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and Chernanos alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? 
Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here, otherwise I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You should not have fucked with me, Kunan. Show me. Yeah. The gods here are vigilant. The chanting, it's faint, but I recognize Mordran's voice. Thank <laughs> you. 
smells like a trap. stepped into Alfheim, or is this a new realm entirely? I stepped into Alfheim, or is this a new realm entirely? Sweat and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Modron, stay your blade or die at my hand! Oh, I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. 
Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods. Do it then. Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your gods to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the sullet you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nornir spin their fatal threats. Without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. The seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sully the honor of herself and her people. I cut my own path. Lord in his mercy. What sorcery happened here? The High Priestess Mordron tried to kill you. Why? In God's name, I've done nothing to her. She feared the church would use you as God's hammer. So she convinced Kunan to have you killed. Kunan and Mordron conspired to bring about your end. Now both lie dead by my hand. Such a waste of life. The devil whispers into the ear of man. But we must ignore his voice. Modron had a vision of you wiping out the pagans. And Gwynedd is Kunan's bastard. So he simply did it to protect his kin. Love for one's child is a virtue. But wrath is a sin. How can one entangle with the other? We all lose our heads when our legacy is threatened. Be that name, kingdom, or child. Now, what of the witchling? I'll see that she's cared for. She has no guilt in this. I will not join your Church of Christ! You won't have to. <laughs> <laughs> 